Hey everyone, and welcome to Groove Builders, the show where we create together. I'm your host, Disorderly Cone, and in this episode, we're going to be painting our second paint by numbers here on the show, and it's very different than our first one. Why, you might ask? Well, let's take a look at the package. Boom. That's right, we're going to be painting the monkey wearing headphones paint by numbers that you see advertised everywhere on the internet. Now this company here has done a great job packaging this kit, not only on the front, but on the back here, which if you look closely, you'll notice they have all the instructions on how to make this kit, which is very useful if you're new to the paint by numbers world. All right, group builders, let's go ahead and open up our package. Okay, so we have our canvas here, which is wrapped in a very nice protective plastic. And on the back here, we have all of our stuff needed for our paint by numbers. Let's go ahead and open this up too. Ah. Sometimes you have to open things up like a raptor. Okay, so after opening up the back, you're gonna have a piece of paper here, which looks exactly the same as your canvas. This piece of paper is very useful in case one of your numbers accidentally gets covered and you need to double check what paint it is. The next thing we have is of course our paint. And lastly, we have our brushes. Now, one thing we learned from last time is that these brushes aren't really that great. So I'm gonna be using my own for this painting. With all of that being said, it's time to sit back, relax, drink some coffee and get painting.
Groove Builders, we painted the Funky Monkey paint by numbers. And I think it turned out pretty good, especially with how sharp that image is. If you're looking to paint this at home though, there are a few things you're gonna wanna know. Let's talk about those things. For my first point, I wanna talk about all of these big areas here. It's very easy to want to rush them, but if you do, you will find yourself leaving a whole bunch of little white dots everywhere. This can definitely affect your painting in the end. So make sure you take your time and actually go over every little bit of the canvas. You'll be really pleased with your end result. For my second point, this painting right here is acrylic, and those brushes that came with the kit are really subpar. If you choose to use them, about halfway through the painting, you might find some serious shedding happening on your brushes. My recommendation is to go out to your local hobby store and find some brushes that can be used with acrylic paint. You won't regret it. For my third and final point, I want to stress the importance of making sure that you go over all the small bits of detail with the appropriate color paint. It's very easy in this painting, especially in some of the smaller bits over here and along the headphones here, to accidentally cover small bits of line with a different color paint. Don't do this. You will lose the detail and really in the end, that's what looks so nice. And with that being said, Groove Builders, let's move on to build time. This paint by numbers kit took me about eight hours over two days to complete, with about six brushes at the ready for me to be able to change out my colors as needed. That being said, Groove Builders, I did have to go over it again at the end because I had forgotten some spots and of course some white areas definitely appeared in drying. It's never a race to complete these paint by numbers, Groovers, so make sure you take your time at home. And finally, Groove Builders, my thoughts. This Funky Monkey Paint by Numbers set is a great little kit, especially when we compare it to the previous Paint by Numbers we've done. This one not only comes already pre-framed and all nice and stapled, but the paint that comes with it too is really nice and in my opinion, very colorful. Now there are a few things that I don't like about this painting, and I think it really does come down to the design and color choices that they chose. This orange here to me, I don't know what it is, I just really don't dig it. And I kind of wish that they would have picked a different color of orange rather than this one here. It really does remind me of a clay. And I know it looks a little bit different on camera, but when I put this up on a wall, it almost takes away from the painting because your eye immediately goes to it. And that's really too bad because outside of that color, this painting is really, really nice. If you're looking to pick this up at home and you've never done a paint by number set, I would say go ahead and do it. There's not a whole lot of different colors here, and the detail itself is pretty easy to follow. There's nothing really too tricky here, and compared to my other paintings and some of the other ones you see online, this one is definitely a good place to start. Alright group builders, that brings us to the end of our show. I had a really good time painting our funky monkey friend here, and if you guys had a good time, don't forget to press that like button. For more videos like this, hit subscribe as well, as we got all kinds of really cool content coming out in the future. Until next time, Groove Builders, keep building, and in this case, painting. <laughs>